Did you I, hear about Cheryl? It's always up with the soggy ladybirds falling on the tree. Yes, I have. I live with ladybirds, though. Okay. They, I, you know, I coexist with them. Well, Madeline, Newnham and Kent, uh, we have an infestation of them every year. One ladybird on your finger is lovely, but we get literally hundreds coming in to try and nest over the winter. Who knew ladybirds nested? Get over it. We call you birds. You're not really birds. And also, somebody came to look at them, because it was in the whole house, um, and uh, they said, oh, this is an infestation of foreign ladybirds. Ours are OK, apparently. But Those then filthy foreign, yeah, foreign ladybirds. Foreign ladybirds came in, and they're not very nice, apparently. No, of course. But not. then um, I, I stopped listening to them because I was a bit too bored with the whole ladybird conversation. Yes, really. And I just decided they're tiny, I can coexist. I coexist with spiders and then outside there are rats, obviously, and badgers and foxes. Yes, and sometimes inside too. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how lonely I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, my pretties, come. Here's some chicken. Oh, she's like the Snow White of Har- Hastings. <laughs> I just had an image of myself there looking like an old prune, looking like the witch who'd injected the apple. Sitting on the, uh, sitting on the doorstep with bits of bread. <laughs> Hello, Foxy. <laughs> Yes. Hello, Mr. Badger. Oh, it's Ratty. And Mrs. Badger. Um, did you watch Strictly last night? I did. It was rather good, wasn't it? Do you know what? And My, shorter, it was which on is good. so early. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> Do you need me to come and slap you on the back? No, I'm good. Uh, it was on I so have a early. Dagger as well. I was so on, on so early. My mother said, "I'll start watching it, and then I'll go and make a sandwich yes. during it." Yes. And I called her afterwards. Apparently, it was so good. She didn't make the sandwich. She didn't make the sandwich. She couldn't tear herself away. No, and, and it was short, and they're all they're all good now. So Ish. I mean, Leighton again was fabulous. That Argentinian tango that was, was thrilling. Hot, wasn't it? It was it hot, was, and it was it was sort of drama. ridiculously good. Yeah, it was sort of stupidly good. Yeah, but it was amazing. Yeah. It really was. Amazing. I still don't think he'll win. I think he'll be in the top three. But I think we like people. Ellie was very good, even though she didn't get marked very good. Well, I think who's in danger this week, Graham, is um, Krishnan. Yeah. And maybe both Angela's, I hate to say that about our very own Angela Scanlon, but I think maybe both Angela's and possibly Annabelle Croft. Yes, I think uh, Angela, this this Angela, Virgin Angela. Angela Virgin Angela. Uh, Angela Scanlon, I think she'll be all right because last week she was in the bottom two, but then not in the bottom two because people voted for her. Yes. Whereas oh, so, I think people aren't voting for poor old Angela Rippon. Why? Well, because I guess her fans don't have phones. <laughs> uh, they've got carrier pigeons. <laughs> they're, they're adding up the scores on abacuses. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> That's Angelarist. That you just, um, I don't know. I think maybe they feel that she's had her moment in the sun. Yes. I mean, I thought she was really good last night. I did too. Apart from the pleatherette that they were both sporting, could and they it, and could they did... not go to leather? Really? It's and also, it did look like uh, something had uh, landed in her head and made a house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a bird of some sort, but a deranged bird. A bird, it was a, it was a bird's first attempt at a nest. <laughs> what, does this go in here? It was like a, that? She was punking it up, wasn't Is she? Is that what it was? Yeah, oh, yeah. I think so. Because she was dancing to Madonna, and I looked at her dancing, and I thought, Madonna would be jealous of that. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll find out tonight who's going to Blackpool. It is funny that, that the, the stakes are so high. Like, you find it say to them, have you been to Blackpool? <laughs> I know, but it's the it's the home of oh, yes. dance, isn't it? Blackpool, the Tower Ballroom, the undersprung floor. I know. My mother danced on it years ago. I'm worried about your mum not having a sandwich now. You know no, how no, her blood no. sugar can go plummeting no, down. No, she had one the minute it was over. Half seven, she was in. What did yeah. she have? At that I don't know. I didn't, we didn't get into the details, but uh, she did have one. Yes, because I gave. I, oh, no, you've infected uh, me with coughing. Uh, no, because I, I call. I, I left a little gap after Strictly because I thought oh, she'll be putting the kettle on uh, to make some tea. But in fact, sandwich. That's what was going on. I love yeah. that she was making a sandwich and putting the kettle on. What age is she now, Rhoda? Ninety. She's just about to be ninety-two. Oh my god! I know, and still eats her crusts. Good, and still has curly hair. <laughs> yes, she does. Take that, Angela. Yeah. <laughs> Angela Rippon. I know. Her well, audience don't have phones. You said that out loud. <laughs> We're going to get uh, to Graham's Guide. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for you. After, <laughs> yeah, after a little less conversation. <laughs> yeah. Wise, wise. It's Elvis and JXL.